हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अ रिविजन लेक्चर वीडियो चैप्टर फोर्टीन इट्स गुड नेम ट्रांसपोर्ट चिल्ड्रन लेट अस ट्राई एन एक्सपेरिमेंट चूज अ फ्रेंड्स हाउस पार्क शॉप और स्कूल दैट इज वन किलोमीटर वे फ्रॉम योर होम ऑन द फर्स्ट डे वॉक टू योर चूज एन प्लेस ऑन द सेकेंड डे राइड टू इट ऑन योर बाइसिकल on the third day taken an automobile while doing this always taken your school bag with you use the same route for all three journeys now note down the following the time taken for each journey on each of the three days which journey took a longest time and which took the shortest time on which journey did you have to carry your own things which was the most comfortable journey on which journey did you have to use fuel on which journey were you most bothered by smoke and noise from your answer you will see that walking take the most time and you have to put in labor to carry your own things using a vehicles save time and effort you must have also realized that we need to use fuels in automobiles this causes air and noise pollution it means that different mode of transport have different advantages and disadvantages in today's high speed world we have to depend on several mode of travel and transportation of good modern means of transport have many advantages work get done not time and effort are saved trade is facilitated different part of the world are now connected due to transport facilities the transport of goods even on a global level has become simple and easy as so many things are easily available the lifestyle of people has improved the facilities of tourism health education etc have become speeder due to the various means of transportation the world has come closer see study the pictures and note the answers to the following where lives the children stop where have to children stop why have they stopped there what are the children doing what is troubling them state the difference between the plants closer to the road and those far away from the road based on the following points freshness of leaves colors of leaves appearance of plant from the observation above you must have realized that there is cons- constant traffic on busy road due to the burning of fuel in the vehicles they constantly emit smokes and some poisonous gases these gases mainly include carbon monoxide nitrogen dioxide nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide similarly minute particles of carbon and leads are also realized into the air an excess of this substance lowers the quality of air in the environment this is what as called air pollution air pollution affects animals and plant in the following ways see trachea lung and eye disorders example burning of the eyes the leaves of plant chevril up chevril up and fall sprouts and scorched the growth and development of plant is affected adversely constant traffic through forest areas can harm to habitat of plants and animals living there the wild animals in these forests being to migrate as well the constant sounds of vehicle created noise on a large scale it causes ill effects such as a restlessness 
irritability, headache, lack of concentration, concentration, physi physiological disorder, etc. Sport. See, walking, riding a bicycle, using a private vehicle, using a public transport. Which of the above options will you choose on the following occasions? <clears throat> Going to study at the friend house who live nearby. You can go by walk. Going to your school which is about 1 km away. You can use bicycle. Taking a material to a science exhibition in another town. You can use a private vehicle. Going to a wedding in the next town. You can use a public transport. From this we realize that we should cultivate, you, cultivate habits such as a walking short distance or riding a bicycle for slightly longer distance. In this way, we can avoid the <coughs> use of fuel burning vehicles and reduce pollution. At other time, using a public or a private transport can save time and effort. In this way, we can reduce the severity of the harmful effects of transportation. The following are some more remedies for reducing pollution using fuel that cause less pollution. Timely maintenance and repair of vehicles using public transport as far as possible. <clears throat> using private vehicles only when necessary. See, planting trees, especially indigenous or local varieties like banyan, people, neem, orange, etc. and caring of all them. These trees adapt easily to the local environment and help to enhancing biodiversity. Avoiding fuels that cause pollution using fuels such as LPG or CNG for vehicles. See, our environment is sensitive. That is why pollution has destructive effects on it. These effects are harmful for all living things including us. It is very necessary to prevent pollution. See, in these modern times, we use car, ships and aeroplanes that run on fuel. In the olden days, ships did not use such engines. They had cells which helped to use the force of the wind. They were called sailing ship. In those days, people traveled all over the world on this ship. See advantages of using a bicycle. First, physical exercise, less crowding of vehicles on the street, saving money can be stored in a small space, save time. Safe reliance does not cause pollution. Small small loads can also be carried. See what we have learned in this chapter: the beneficial and harmful effects on transportation, judicious use of means of transport, the danger to nature due to the pollution caused by various means of transport remedies for various types of pollution thank you